Hey there and welcome back to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw the Ghostbusters logo. So we start with the eyes and basically what they are are little sixes. So starting from the top, we'll draw the number six. And then from the center of the top of the circle, I'm just going to curve up to the top. Let's color that in black. We'll do the same exact thing on the right side. So starting from the top, we'll draw the number six. And then from the tip of the top of the six, we're going to curve down to the center of that circle. Now let's color that in black. Let's go ahead and draw in some eyebrows. So we're going to curve the eyebrows up this way. So above the left eye, I'm just going to draw a little curve like this. And on the right, we'll do the same thing. Let's move on down in the center of the face and draw in the nose. So basically, it's just a U shape. And then below the nose, we're going to draw the mouth, which is an O. Start from the top and back around. We'll color that in black. Let's draw in the little bottom lip area. So underneath the mouth, we're going to draw a little curve. Like that. Now the head shape is basically like a pear. So it goes out from underneath the chin, curves out towards the cheeks, and then goes back up and towards the top of the head. So just on the side here, I'm going to start below the bottom lip, move over to the left, I'm going to curve the cheeks on the left side. We'll go over to the right side and do the same thing. So starting at the same height, curve around, and then back up to the side of the face. We're going to curve up and then up to the top of the head, which is just above the eyes here. So curving up, and we're going to round out the top, like that. We're just going to stop right there because we want to draw that little wispy head tip. We're going to move over, leave a little gap here, and just curve it down to the side on the right, and then just blend it into the side there. Let's go ahead and draw on that little wispy tip. From the top, we're just going to do a little overlap, curve up, and then down, and then we're going to curve up the tip, like this. From here, I'm going to round up the tip, come back in, and then come back down so there's a little overlap on the right side. Let's get down to the arm on the left. So this arm overlaps on top of the circle. So we're going to be able to draw this in first. So just on the side of the head here, we're going to draw a curve down the arm. So starting up here, curving down, and then we're going to go out towards the left. Now we're going to layer in the fingers. So the first index finger is basically starting down here, doing an overlap across that arm, and then we're going to do a little wave. So we're going to curve out to the tip of the finger. From here, we're going to bring this back in, almost like the tip of a banana shape. So we're going to curve in and then down. Let's layer in the fingers behind. So up here, we're going to move up, curve down to the tip, and then curve it back. We'll do the final finger here. So we're going to do another overlap, curving around, and then back up. Here, we're going to draw the back palm of the hand. So doing an overlap, we're going to curve the back of the hand. And then here, we're going to overlap the thumb. Doing a little overlap here, curving out to the tip of the thumb. We're going to round it out and then curve back up. From here, let's draw in the bottom part of the arm. So doing another overlap here, we're going to curve up and then out. Okay, so there's a little bit of a wave to the arm here. From this point, we're going to have to draw in that bar that goes across because that gets overlapped on top of the rest of the body. So just below this arm right here, we're going to draw an angled diagonal line going up towards the right. So starting on the bottom here, draw an angled line going up to right about there. We're going to draw this in twice. So just below it in an angle this way. We draw a line going across. We want to make sure that that thickness is consistent all the way around. From here, we can draw on the bottom of the body. So underneath this arm, we'll just step in and just draw a curve going into that bar. Up here, let's draw the top of the shoulder on the right side. So here, I'm just going to start up here and just draw a curve going underneath that bar. From this point, we can draw in the hand on the right side. So right on this corner here, I'm going to draw in a curve coming down like this. We do a little overlap and just do another curve like that. And now we're gonna layer in the fingers. So right here, we're gonna move in, draw a curve to the index finger, and then we're just gonna pull that back in. We're gonna layer in another finger in behind here. So stepping in, curving around, and then back. And we'll do one final finger. So doing another overlap, curving around, and then back up. From here, we're gonna draw in the, basically the palm of the hand. So up here, we're gonna curve down and then up. Let's draw on the thumb. So the thumb overlaps on top. So basically from this point, go out to a point, round it out, and then come back in. From this point, we're going to do the arm. So under here, we're going to step in and just draw a curve going underneath the arm. From this point, let's draw in the circle. So the inner part of the circle comes in behind the head and in behind the arm, but you're not going to see it on this side. So we just want to imagine a small circle going around this way. So from the bottom, it's going to curve up. It'll go behind the arm and the body, and then up here, just beside the head will curve into that point. Now this gets a little bit tricky, but we're going to try to draw in the inner part of the circle wrapping around and behind that arm. Starting from the bottom, we'll curve down and then just pull that in underneath the arm there. 
From here, now we can draw in the lower part of the belly. So this line here, it's gonna curve down across like this for the belly. And then right here, we're gonna curve down to the, to the line there. Now the final step is drawing the big circle on the outside. Now this is probably the trickiest part of this lesson. We're gonna to try to make the thickness of this band the same as this line here. So what we wanna imagine is this point, it's gonna start right about here, and curve around this way, in behind the head, and then down to the arm. Starting right about here, we curve around, and continue this behind the head, like that. Now from here, up on top of the head, I'm looking at the distance between this and the outside line, making sure it's the same as this point here. I'm going to curve around, in behind the hand. Now we're going to draw the lower part. So down here, we're going to curve down. I'm going to put my finger at the, the width of the circle down here. We're going to curve all the way up in behind the finger. So starting up here, imagine this line coming around, all the way around like this. We're going to continue up on the right side and just carefully go in behind the fingers. And I'm going to connect to that point in behind the fingers with two little curves like that. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's the Ghostbusters logo. I hope you enjoy the simple lesson. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.